this soil sample we can implement with the two types one is the remolded soil samples or undisturbed soil samples the remolded soil samples desired water content has to be added in it and then it has to be compacted with the three layers the soil passing through 425 micron has to be implemented in it if i am working on the undisturbed soil samples then we have to implement go to the site and then take out the undisturbed soil samples now at present i have taken the undisturbed soil sample i have trimmed up with the upper and bottom surface now this was base of the consolidation ring has the number of the the grid pattern so here this is the channel where the water passes and drains out quickly now this is your upper, upper layer of the consolidation cell firstly we have to put up stones this porous stones we have to implement firstly with the bottom plate and then the the filter paper nextly the soil sample okay and then the consolidation ring consolidation ring is smooth to reduce the friction and it has a diameter of 6 cm also cell with a diameter of 10 cm are also available the thickness of the cell sample is the thickness of the cell sample is of 2 cm the diameter and the thickness ratio should be around minimum 3 later on after the soil sample implementation the filter paper has to be assembled after this assembly, the porous stone has to be implemented. Okay. Now to interact this assembly completely, then the upper ring has to be implemented. It has to be tightened with the help of the screws. It has to be tightened completely. This is your perforated pressure pad. Just I have to place on the top. After tightening up the screws, this assembly is completely intact. There are two types of consolidation cells. One is the floating free ring cells. Another one will be uh, another will be calling it as fixed ring cells. This is completely fixed ring cell. Now the floating ring is on the both top and bottom of the porous stones are free to move and loading is done. Here with this fixed type, only the top porous stone can be moved. This is the difference between the floating and a fixed one this is completely a fixed one okay now uh, we'll be moving for the loading device okay. now the loading is applied by the suspending the weights by the lever arm you can see over the lever arm whenever you start the experimentation this lever arm should be with the horizontal one thing to need okay now the sample to be saturated, the loading device consists of a small reservoir connected to the cell with a plastic pipe. Okay, this is your reservoir, like a small reservoir where my sample has to be saturated completely. First of all, okay, throughout the experimentation, it has to be saturated. The lever arm should be with respect to horizontal. After complete assembly, you have to go for the fixing up the dial gauge. This dial gauge goes, gives us the deformation. After connecting to the reserve wire, the sample, we have to ensure the soil sample has, has completely saturated. Now leave the soil sample to be saturated. The seating load has to be applied to the lever arm. Just I am applying the seating load as per the IS code 2720 part 15 as 0 0.05 kg per centimeter square this is my seating load now now after applying the seating load the setup has to be left 24 hours Point 0.1 kg per centimeter square load has implemented now I will be starting down to take the deformation readings. My deformation reading firstly is of 20 mm. With respect to time nothing but 25 
seconds the reading is 19.99 Hence, like this, we have to take down the readings, nothing but the deformation with respect to time. I'll be ending up. After completing this for 144 min 1440 minutes, I will be switching on to another load increment. We're implementing 0.2 kg per centimeter square of load. Always look at the incremental load should be double with respect to the previous loading. Now I will be starting down to, to take the readings with respect to my time again. Once I implement the load of 0.2 kg, kg per centimeter square with respect to time, once I ended up with the deformation reading as 19.95, then after ending up with this 0.2 kg per centimeter square, again I will be doubling my weight. Okay. The loading is 0.5 kg per centimeter square. Again, again, just I will be implementing 0.5 kg per centimeter square. Okay. Again, the same procedure has to be cultivated with respect to the time I have to take down the readings again, the deformations. Okay. Like this, we have to go for 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 1, 2, 4, 8. The, all the readings has to be captured. Now we have done with the 8 kg, 8 kg per centimeter square of the loading. 